today everyone, I'm going to teach you how to key a car. Good afternoon, Connor Cruz. It is I, Sod Simmer, back again. Here I am. I'm just, uh, I'm here with another story time for you all. Uh, this time, it is about my driving experiences. So it all began back when I was at the young age of 16. Now I'm 17 at the moment. I wanted to get my permit. I turned 16 in August. Finally, I was taken to the courthouse and we fi I went ahead, finally took the permit test and I finally got my permit. Then finally, I took it and uh, extremely long story short, I ended up failing. Now, you can either end the video now or I can tell you why I failed. So if you're sticking around now, I ended up failing because of a bunch of smaller things that added up. There was only one major infraction I did. What happened was like the small errors that I made, I forgot to look over my shoulder after I parallel parked. And once I was exiting the parallel parking, same thing happened when I parked on the side of the road. I forgot to look over my shoulder for traffic as I exited. A couple other things was I ended up actually rolling at a couple stop signs. Note to self, whenever you stop, always make sure that you feel the jerk, cause then you know you've stopped. A couple other smaller infractions I made was the emergency brake, and my uncle had drilled into my mind that whenever I park, I don't need to use the uh, emergency brake. Only times I need to is only when I'm on a direct incline, and that's it. Like for example, this parking lot, if my uncle were in the passenger seat, and if I were to turn that emergency brake on, my uncle would be like, Saad, turn it off. You don't need it on right now. We're in flat land. Why do you have it on? And so since I was practicing the uphill and downhill parking on flat land, my instructor told me to pretend, and that caused the e-brake to fly right no. over my head. I did somehow manage to remember that I was supposed to turn the wheel. I, I didn't break that. Did so basically, like we turn, uh, I remembered to turn the wheel away from the direction of the road, uh, but I forgot to turn on the e-brake. Now, onto the one quote-unquote major thing that caused me to fail was the turnabout turn. I actually remembered that I was supposed to uh, go a little forward of the, of the corner and then back into the corner or the turn uh, and then make the turn out. And I remembered I was supposed to do that. The main thing that happened was when I backed in, now I never properly practiced a turnabout turn because uh, I wasn't expecting to turn it, like into or to back up into a corner. So when I did, it turned out I had uh, turned too wide and too crooked that um, by the time I had backed into the turn, basically half the car was on the grass. So that is why I am very surprised the instructor didn't immediately fail me right then and there. So that is my story of how I failed my driver's test. But I'm set to retake it very soon. I think I'm going to pass, or I know I'm going to pass this time. I know they say third time's a charm, but I think, I think the second time's a charm this time. And I have a nice friend here with me who's gonna gonna help me ma ma make sure I pass. Always make sure safety first. And uh, no need to adjust my seats. I can I can totally see everything right now. I can I can see everything. So we're we're gonna gonna. There we go. And now, quoting another friend of mine, now we ride. <laughs> 